So the question is, can we create our own plugins and scripts and like uh, have community plugins? And the answer for that is a resounding yes. Um, if you open the project folder that contains like your scripts and everything, and you look over here, you'll see uh, there's scripts that live in here that you've created. Um, and you make these by opening the kit and you just type in new or select new from there, create a new script. Um, I'll do something like GitHub user, and then um, I'll say await arg. This is how we'll get a username. We'll call this the user. And then I'm going to await a get, and then I'm going to grab the GitHub API, and I'm going to drop the user right there, and then this will be the response. Close that over there. And then I'm going to inspect the response.data. So this script will look like this if I run GitHub user, and I just type in. I'll just type in John Lindquist, hit enter, and you'll see now it's inspecting the data of that response um, because inspect just creates a JSON file in your temp directory that shows that, uh, what the script gave you. Anyway, so like that's a new script. And um, once you create a script on the scriptkit.app website um, under the scripts and then usernames, um, you can submit PRs here to um, add these scripts and it's just a directory so public scripts these are the ones that i have so far that i'm sharing um, and from there on the site it's formatted like this and you can click these buttons and it'll say um, this wants to uh, open the kit app and do something and what it does is it takes that script and installs it essentially grabs the content of this and puts that in the uh, in that scripts directory, so that now I have center app. I'll hit enter, and this app centers. And so, like the only thing I did between um, not having the script and now having the script, if I like click here, and then now this script is installed, I can run anime search and type in Naruto or whatever, and then um, this shows me a link that uh, has a you know, picture to Naruto. Anyway, um, so you can create your own scripts. Uh, your own plugins would be more like, um, say here we want to, um, if you want to make like a GitHub lib or something. So if I create a new file in the lib directory, I just call this like uh, GitHub JS, and then uh, we'll just make a method. Um, we can export let, um, we'll just call this user. I'm just kind of winging this. And this needs to be async. Um, let's see, did I paste, I'll paste that? Um, yeah, so this is in the lib directory. And then um, now I could await lib GitHub. And then this will have a uh, user method on that. Uh, we'll call that GitHub user, just to alias that. And then um, now we can await, this is a weird example right now, but await GitHub user and user. Um, essentially just extracted that one liner into a, another one liner. So um, this should still work, GitHub user, We'll type in John Lindquist. Um, and then, oh, is that returning the, oh, this didn't return the um, dot data. Let's run that again. GitHub user, John Lindquist. And there, that worked. That time it worked. Um, so now these, like I have a GitHub file which can have different methods or things exposed in it. And um, I can load those from this lib call, and that'll load things from the, <clears throat> excuse me, the lib directory inside of your project. Now, I, I don't have a way to share libs yet. Um, it'll be fairly simple and work very similar, similarly to this. Um, that's something I want to have by the time uh, everything's done, or I, I ship 1.0. 
Um, and then the the final bit is like the the community plugins. Um, I call these kits. Like once a lib grows enough to turn into something that's useful for everyone, and it's it's both abstract enough that it's useful for everyone and useful enough, um, it gets promoted to the uh, status of in here in this kit directory. There's a kit directory where you can load things from like uh, Chrome and desktop and file, and playwright, speech and text. Um, and you saw that in the center app, um, it's loading one of the kit libraries, like this desktop one um, from the kit, the desktop one has like get windows and focus a window and get windows bounds and all these methods that you can, if you import that uh, desktop kit, you have access to all these things to do with windows. Um, Chrome has things around like getting tabs and focusing on specific tabs and, and other and I'm sure that can grow over time. People can um, submit PRs to that, and we can improve these these kits, these promoted libraries. So yeah, there's those those levels of uh, scripts which are personal, which are going to be very customized to whatever your workflow is. Um, the libs, which can extract those pieces if you want to share uh, functions amongst scripts, and then like the even more community level of the kits, which. Um, are shipped with kit itself and every time you update kit it'll update those libs so that uh, everyone has access to all those um, so scripts you you grab and install yourself and you manage them yourself and the kits are is something that the script kit app manages so hope that answers your question and i'm excited to ship this <laughs>